Jimmy here with Gallatin River Guides and today we'll be tying the watered down betas. Um, this is a soft tackle betas pattern that I've been working on for, for years and have played with and have fished it with a lot of success in both free stones and tail waters. Um, because it's unweighted, it's, uh, it fishes great as a, a, a dropper off of a light dry fly, um, let's say betas, betas dry pattern. Um, would also fish well as a spinner potentially um, and then on a nymph rig as well as a lightweight dropper pattern or a, a trailer that um, is allowed to kind of freely float in the in the water column. So we're going to start off with some olive um, ultra thread. Um, it's the thread I've really um, preferred for this particular pattern. Um, and then we're going to tie in a trailing shuck of sparkle yarn. Here I'm using gray. Um, I've played with olive too. I don't know that the color is, is hugely important, but um, I think this is a little more natural uh, of a color for this pattern. Um, this is a light, a very light betis um, color combination. Um, tying in extra small silver wire. I'm going to try to keep that on top of the hook. And then wrap, as I wrap my thread forward, making sure to keep a nice clean body because this is all going to be visible in the finished product now. And uh, once I get my thread to um, about an eye length behind the eye of the hook or a little bit more, I'm going to wrap my, my wire forward, um, creating a few um, evenly spaced ribs. Usually you try to get about five five uh, ribs on a, on a nymph pattern, on most nymph patterns. Tie that off. Um, and then you'll see that I'm going to secure, cut this off with the, my scissors, the bottom of my scissors, so I don't dull the tips. But you can certainly helicopter that off and break it off as well. Um, next we're going to add some light olive um, Senyo's um, laser dub. Um, just need a small, uh, small clump here, or small cigar for a little uh, thorax. Wrap that forward, and this is going to add a little bit of thorax. It's going to add, um, you know, those fibers will kind of break apart as you fish the pattern, make it a little buggier. Um, but really, what it's going to do is, when you tie in your soft tackle, um, it's going to allow that soft tackle to, to flare out a little bit more and not um, completely flatten out on the body. Um, you see I've trimmed a small bit of stem. Um, this is a whiting hen cape um, in Pale Watery Done. I really love this color and this product that whiting has come up with. Um, a great a great option for small soft tackles because um, there are a lot of feathers um, in the cape that, that you can tie small flies with um, and a lot of different colors. So, um, And then just kind of folding back those fibers, this isn't you know my cleanest soft tackle job here mostly because that camera is so close to my hands and um, I've, got, I've got big hands if, if you've ever met me and I'm a big guy so this is a little bit awkward for me to have that camera right in front of me. Um, often when I use my scissors to cut, I don't actually cut down on things. I push, um, and it's it's more of a uh, a searing, you know, kind of motion um, instead of a clamp, you know, cut coming closing of the scissors to cut things. Um, then we whip finish, tie it off. Because it's um, the body and the head are tied of thread, which is fragile, and the soft tackle is fragile. I do recommend a thin head cement um, or a, a thin UV resin. I uh, hope you try it out. Thank you.